In this video we're going to show you how to configure multiple PTZ9000s to one DVR. If you are watching this video, we are assuming that you have correctly wired your PTZ to your DVR. With that being said, if you have not already, plug a mouse into your DVR. Then anywhere on the main screen, right click and scroll down to main menu. Left click on main menu then enter your username and password. By default the username is 68 and the password is also 68. So we'll enter 888-888. Select enter and then press OK. Click on the settings icon in the top right corner. Then click on pan till zoom in the bottom middle of the page. In this menu, we're going to configure the DVR to communicate correctly with the PTZ. You can see that we have various options such as channel, protocol, address, baud rate, data bits, stop bits, and parity. We're going to configure camera 1's settings, so we'll select channel 1. Then we'll refer back to the camera's user manual to find which protocol and baud rate we need to use for this camera. I have looked up the settings ahead of time and I know that the correct protocol for this camera is Pelco D. So we'll scroll down and click Pelco D. The address for the camera by default is going to be address number one. If you have more than one PTZ, you're going to be assigning different addresses for different cameras. But since we're only configuring one PTZ for now, we'll leave the address as one. The user manual for this camera says that the baud rate should be 4800, so we'll click the fly down and select 4800. We're going to leave the data bits, stop bits, and parity alone, and we're going to click save in the bottom right corner. Exit out of these menus by clicking the X at the top right corner, click it again, then double click on camera 1. Right click anywhere on the screen and scroll down to pan tilt zoom. Then we'll use the controls to move the camera. When we set up the first PTZ, our settings were actually configured in such a way that controlling the first PTZ would actually control every other PTZ attached to this DVR in synchronization. The reason this happens is because each individual PTZ has what's called a dome address or a site address. As you can see, the first PTZ has a site address of 001, and the second PTZ also has a site address or a dome address of 001. The site ID or dome address of the camera will have to be changed using the camera's on-screen display. But before we can actually access this camera's OSD, we're going to have to configure channel 2 to communicate properly with PTZ number 2. To do this, we're going to right click anywhere on the main screen and scroll down to main menu. Then we are going to click on the settings icon in the top right corner. We will then click on the pan tilt zoom icon in the middle of the bottom row on this menu. Because the PTZ that we are trying to configure is on channel 2, we will select channel 2. We will then refer back to our user manual for the correct protocol and baud rate. Because we have the same camera as the first channel, we are going to repeat the settings, which is Pelco D and baud rate 4800. When you are done, click save in the bottom right hand corner. Then exit out of the setting menu by clicking on the X in the top right corner and the X in the main menu top right corner. Then we are going to unplug power from camera 1 to ensure that we don't duplicate our address settings from camera 2 onto camera 1. After you unplug power from camera 1, double click on camera 2. Then anywhere on camera 2, right click and scroll down to pan tilt zoom. At the bottom of your pan tilt zoom menu, click on page switch. To access the camera's OSD, we're going to type 95 in the number next to preset. 
and then click on the preset button. Then we will go back to the PTZ controls using the page switch button on the bottom of this menu. Using the up, down, left, and right, we can navigate these menus. To change this camera's ID, go up to System Setting. Press right to select. Then go up to Com Setting, just above Back. Press right again to select. Then at the top of the page, we have to fill in the CONF line, which stands for Confirmation. In the line just above confirmation, we have a serial number for the camera. We have to duplicate the serial number in the confirmation line. We can do this by using the PTZ controls. Press right to select a number. Then when you need to change a number or letter, press up or down to select that number or letter. If your serial number line does not match your confirmation line, you will not be able to change your camera's site ID, protocol, or communication speed. Once you have duplicated the serial number in the confirmation line, you can press right to exit out of the confirmation line. Then press down to go to site ID. Press right to select and then change the site ID to the correct address. In this case, it's on channel 2, so we're going to select site ID number 2. Press right to select, and then scroll down to exit, and press right to exit. To save these settings, we're going to have to power off the camera and then power it back on by unplugging and then replugging in the power supply. When the camera is finished booting up, you will see that under dome address, we now have a 002 instead of a 001. There is one last setting that we have to change before we can control this PTZ. From the camera number 2 screen, right click anywhere and scroll down to main menu. Then click the settings icon in the top right corner. Then click the pan tilt zoom icon in the settings menu. Change channel 1 to channel 2. And then change the address by clicking on the area where the 1 is, clicking backspace, and then pressing 2. Click away from that box, and then click save in the bottom right corner. Exit out of the settings menu in the main menu. Again right click on this screen, click pan tilt zoom, and you will be able to move your camera. And as you can see here, now that we powered camera 1 back on, it is still unchanged and not moved. We can click pan tilt zoom and move this one individually. While we're in this menu, another nice feature to use is called the PTZ trace. If you click on PTZ trace and then drag your mouse across the screen, it will move the PTZ in whatever direction you move your mouse.